For example, we can focus in on the femur, and students can immediately see some of the types of fractures they may one day encounter in the clinic. Now I can leverage all of these new capabilities while maintaining the important connection with my students. When we're both wearing a hollow lens, I can see what they're looking at, what they're interacting with, I can assess their progress, and they can communicate with me and each other naturally. For example, I can see if Michelle has a question in class, or whether Gwen has a question while learning remotely. Now obviously, a cadaver doesn't move. This makes it difficult to see the way a living body actually works. HoloLens doesn't have this limitation. Systems can be animated to easily see how things function. Let's take a look at the center of the cardiovascular system, the heart. It's an amazing organ. In reality, it's about the size of your fist. With HoloLens, we can easily scale up the heart to let students see minute details. We can even see inside the heart to see the valves in action. This is a new way of seeing things, and it has the potential to help students understand the structure and physiology of the body in a way that's just not possible today. Now what you've just seen is a vision of how HoloLens could enhance one single subject. But as an educator, it's easy for me to see that it's not just anatomy that could benefit from this technology. This could change how everyone learns. Imagine for a moment some of the other fields that can be changed. For example, chemistry and genetics. Art. Engineering. And paleontology. And the best part is, we get to help define that future together. I can't wait to see what you future holographic developers are going to do with this amazing technology. Thanks. Thank you, Marcia. Thank you.